everyone talking about Before the Rainbow, the Eau de Parfum version by Finery, which is the new perfume line by Target, released in 2023. Uh, this has notes of salty air, bergamot, and tree moss, and supposedly supposed to be like a clone or dupe of Wood, Sage, and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. So yeah, this is not bad at all, especially for the price. This goes for around $32 for a 60 milliliter. At first I was thinking it was like a 100 milliliter size for that price, like wow, this would really be good, but I actually think this is still a pretty great deal. This is light and fresh and laid back, but still like invigorating. It's clean, but not in like a piercing laundry detergent or like 90s, you know, kind of way or anything like that. I can definitely see similarities to wood sage and sea salt. But for me, it doesn't smell like an exact dupe. That one smells a little bit more slightly herbal to me at times. Um, that one has like a sage note and maybe seaweed or something like that. But I actually like this just as much, if not more than that. Yeah, I really enjoy this uh, To You know, it's not, I mean, I generally respect Target's quality for stuff. I feel like they don't usually put stuff out and it's just like, you know, terrible or anything like that. But obviously for fragrance, I have higher standards. And I think they definitely surpassed what I would have expected for this. It can be hard to find a fragrance that's this relatively affordable and has a scent profile that's like also very fresh and clean but doesn't smell like so synthetic fresh and clean or too watery. So I think this is nice, uh, pretty easily unisex to my nose. And the Fragranica page for this mentions oak moss being a note. Just a heads up, if you hate oak moss, this is actually tree moss. And if I understand correctly, all oak moss is a form of tree moss, but the reverse is not true. So just a heads up, if you're aware of what oak moss smells like and like in Sheepra type of sense and you don't like that, which I'm not a big fan of, this doesn't smell like that kind of like bitter, earthy green type of scent or anything. Uh, moderate longevity, low to moderate projection. That is pretty similar to the Joe Malone one. So yeah, as mentioned, $32 for a 60 milliliter. And yeah, I'm impressed. I think it's a good deal. And uh, yeah, if anybody else has checked it out, let me know what you think. I'm actually, I tried the discovery set for all these so far, and I've been pretty impressed by all of them. So yeah, nice.